Well, thanks very much. Uh, we're going to wrap up here in a, in a few minutes. I do want to introduce a special guest. We have Frank Gruber, whom I announced earlier from Tech Cocktail. I'd like to have him come up. He's going to explain a little bit about the, the Tech Cocktail Mixer. Um, and then I've got a couple more words to say. And Jay will have a few words, and then we'll, we'll get dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it up for Martin. This has been fantastic. <laughs> Great job. So before I trip here. So I, I didn't get to see everything. We, we actually spent 33 hours trying to get here. So I'm really pleased to be here right now on stage. Uh, we made it uh, all the way from Washington, D.C. Um, but I wanted to kind of set the context of like what Tech Cocktail is. Um, it's obviously a mixer event we're going to enjoy here shortly. But it's a little bit more than that. Um, it's something I started in 2006. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, first and foremost as a moonlighting kind of thing to really um, better connect uh, where I was at the time, which is, was in a very similar situation. It was Chicago, Illinois. There were a lot of companies there, a lot of big companies there, uh, a lot of startups that you hear about, like the 37 Signals of the world. But not, you know, no one really knew anybody. <laughs> like, you, you, I was in the industry for, for a while and working at, at a big company, and, and you really couldn't really connect with the other folks that were working there. So what we decided to do uh, was create a, a little mixer event that we thought, you know, 50 people would come, come, come out to and, and uh, get together and showcase some of those uh, early stage te technology innovations that were happening. So we did that. Little did we know that two, uh, 50 people turned into 250 people. And um, we just literally, it just turned into a, a really big success right away. So we started doing more of them. Um, very similar to like how this started with Martin. Actually, he had, he had early on mentioned, you know, we'll get, you know, like 100 people or so. I think, what do we have, like 250? <laughs> like, this is great. So um, we were really pleased to come out and, and do this, uh, this Mixer event to kind of showcase uh, some of the things that are happening in Boise because that's really what our mission has been since 2000, 2006. So um, I did this on the side for about three years and then left my full-time job at AOL, left the comfort of, of a big internet giant uh, where I was actually leading products and, and, and social products um, to, to come out and do this full-time as a media company. So we travel the country looking for tech innovations, startups uh, and whatnot, and, and cover them online, um, try to shine a light on what's happening. So right now, um, this last year was the first year to really do it full time. We did 20 different mixer style events covering over you know, a couple hundred com companies um, all across the country in 12 cities. This year we're doing more, we're doing conferences, we're trying to really educate people on how to start and run a business. We started a, something called Startup Mixology, uh, which is kind of a series of, of of, of conferences where we literally break down every aspect of starting and running a business. Uh, we did one in, in Chicago, and we're going to do another one in D.C., and it, we stream them so other, everyone can kind of learn from them. We put the videos out on techcocktail.com. Um, so we get to hear a lot of great, inspiring stories, but we also get to interact at the ground level with a lot of really smart uh, entrepreneurs uh, as they continue to innovate in, in, a spa in the space. So um, over time, I mean, Mark had a great presentation, and I think he hit it dead on what can be done in this community. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of upside. You guys have a lot of opportunity out there, and this is a great time to start. So um, some of the folks even in the presentation we've worked with um, very, very early um, from Techstars, uh, where we actually uh, were the launch party for their first class uh, in Boulder. So we've worked with them over the years, uh, and even up in, into New York here recently, they had a new, a new class. Um, and so we definitely, you know, <laughs> echo his, his um, enthusiasm for Techstars and what they're doing. Um, across the country. Um, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk wrote the book Tech Crush It, um, very passionate guy. Um, he was at our, our at one of our first events in, in Washington, D.C. He took the train down with his brother. No one knew who he was. He had a little blog uh, called uh, Wine Library TV. He had just started to kind of start promoting uh, the wine business, which his, his wine business is called Wine Library. So he basically started promoting, um, you know, through his, his, this video show, He's got a lot of energy, and he brings it every day to this video show. Uh, and I think he ended up putting out 500 or so episodes where he, he breaks down every aspect of wine, telling you exactly how it tastes on the palate. For anybody that, that you know, may not know much about wine, in, including myself, where you know, he would give a great example. So we got to meet him early on, and then he's just really exploded. He's got you know, a couple different books out there, including Crush It and The Thank You Economy. So we get to interact with really interesting people um, very early on. Um, you know, got tons of different stories uh, uh, like that, uh, but that's really what inspires us to kind of continue what we do. We get to kind of showcase these folks uh, and, and try to 
you know, shine a light on what they're doing and hope that they can be very successful. So I'm really pleased to be here. Um, yeah, I could love to meet all of you tonight at, at the Tech Cocktail Mixer. Um, we've covered the 13 startups online at techcocktail.com. You can go check those out. We'd love to continue to, to cover Boise uh, startups. So if you have stories or, or um, you know, tips or anything about tech technology companies that you're building here, we'd love to hear them. So thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate uh, what, what Martin's doing here. Matt actually who was, who was uh, here earlier, I don't know where he is now. Oh, there he is. He came to our conference in 2008 in Chicago. Um, it, it was, I mean, we, it was the first conference we had ever really hosted. We had Gary Vanderchuk from, from the book Crush It, as well as um, the now CEO of Twitter uh, was one of our speakers. We had just a phenomenal crew, and it was really uh, amazing. But he, he basically had, had, had brought up the idea of coming out to Boise then. I was still in a full-time job at the time, and it wasn't something that I could do at that point. But I'm really happy to actually complete the circle and be out here with, with Tech Cocktail. So thank you very much as well. So look forward to seeing everyone uh, tonight. Hopefully you can talk to some of the companies. I get to meet all of you. So shake, you know. Also, I want to call out Jen Consalvo over here from Tech Cocktail as well. She was part of our 33-hour crew to get out here. So um, obviously she wants to talk to everyone as well. She's our co-editor and CEO, COO. So thank you all, and I'll look forward to seeing you later on. Thank you, Frank. Jay, you have a few words? So that 33 hours, is that on a wagon train or not very? Hey, I just have, want to tell you, everybody, thank you so much for coming. I think we had a great, uh, from the speaker from uh, Bob Locke and all the way through, it's been a fantastic time. And I got to tell you, it's a lot of energy that kind of comes in and starts creating this community that we were talking about. Just two thoughts. When we had, uh, when I was down, uh, I, I ran a Verizon Wireless for Utah, and I had the chance to talk with uh, a lot of the technology comp companies down there and the people who started this, and the two things they said is they needed to start small organic companies that grew. And so that's what caused this big difference in 2000 to where we are today. They've done a ton to be able to create the small businesses, the technology companies, whether it's in medical the medical field or whether software, and they've done an amazing thing. So they have a much more diverse economy when it comes to technology, which means that they've had a lot less of a hit as you've had this the economy that we've gone through. They've had about a 3% approximately less of an unemployment rate than what we experienced in Idaho. The second part that really goes on is that the person who did the Kauffman Institute, they compared all the 50 states against each other, and they said this is what causes companies to win and states to win. It's a knowledge-based economy, but it's about companies that are gazelle, quick-moving companies that can change and adapt to uh, as, you, as you find products and marketplaces, and so they can move much faster. And that's the, that's the, those are the states that are going to win. So that's our objective is organic growth. So that's what you can hear from the Idaho Technology Council is it about organic growth and about quick-moving gazelle companies. So the last point, two things. Uh, Elizabeth Perryman, are you still here? Elizabeth Perriman with the ITC, thanks for so much for what you've done, Elizabeth, to help with this. So thank you. And the second part is that uh, JD CS Extras. When is it? And with the JavaScript, when's it going to be taking place? Oh. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. It's a shorter one because we went to a smaller room on that one, right? For jQuery. Jared's going to do it. Thanks, Jared. Thanks. Last point, uh, on the 18th of May is the next, uh, after that is going to be the next uh, ITC event. And it's going to be connecting through video conferencing. So it's going to be do the three, three or companies are going to come from HP, Cisco, Polycom. They're going to tell us where they are, and they've had some sig significant shifts in uh, video conferencing. They will also talk about where it will be two to five years from now and some of the evolution is going to take place. So we're going to be able to use that a lot more. As we have a more rural state that we are and we're spread out, it's a, we can use that as a fantastic tool. So it's going to start at 930 over at the uh, Yonkey Research Facility at Boise State, the old Orida building. So if you want to come to that, it's going to be open to ITC members free and probably anybody that would like to come. But it's going to be a fantastic conference by then and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing so thank you so much for coming I sure I have one piece of really important news I want to share that could actually be good news for us the news won't be out until next week but a great software company has 
been accepted into Boulder's Tech Start program this year. Can you say who? Uh, we had, we had uh, over 600 applicants for 10 spots. And Boise Company got in. Fantastic. This is the first right here. You heard it from my breaking news from Mark Sullen. Way to go, Mark. Because this is one thing, guys. We need to have more things like that. So thanks, Mark, for the announcement. Thanks, Martin. Okay, lastly, um, as you saw when I opened up the, the, uh, the, my initial PowerPoint when I opened up the conference, um, the whole we are screwed part, what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to release everybody. I really appreciate you for, for joining us, but what we have to do is get everybody up and out of the room. Uh, we need to reconfigure the room for the mixer. Um, so you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You can go, <laughs> go over to the modern, have a drink, go have a drink at Donnie Max. Uh, you can actually hang out up in, in the loft and see all the craziness. Uh, if you're a startup, please see me here at the, the, at the stage. And for all of you, appreciate the time. Uh, hope you had a great time. And, and join us for the Tech Cocktail.